No, I said stand up. We're not standing. Okay, right. you can start. Hello everyone, good evening and welcome to Born to Shine being brought to you by Genius Kids. I'm Miss Renu and it's my favorite time of the week, every Wednesday evening where we spotlight all the youth from ages 5 to 25 who are doing something different and giving back to the community. And as we all know, um, this has been a rough year. I can definitely speak from experience. Uh, March the 13th, 2020, we went into lockdown with COVID and all we've done is hear about COVID. And some people simply stayed home got a nice fat paycheck, watched TV, and did absolutely <laughs> nothing beyond that. And then we had some folks and some kids that decided to make a difference in the lives of others. And that's exactly what we're going to be doing today. We're going to be meeting with two munchkins who are actually going to tell us what they did to give back to the community. So without wasting any time, let's go ahead and say hello to Atharv. Hi, Atharv. How are you? I'm good. And Miss Naisa. Hi, Naisa. How are you? Naisa. Did you hear me? How are you? Oh, good. Good. I want you to speak up so we can hear you. And then, of course, we have Mom Nidhi. Hi, Nidhi. How are you? Welcome to the show. Thank you so much. Thank you for the inviting. I'm doing good. And, this. of course, we have my favorite RJ, Miss Ira. <laughs> Hi, Miss Reno. Hello, kids. Hi, Nidhi. Nice to be here. So great. So, you know, I got to see them from mom and she was telling me about her kids. And I think it's so important, by the way, that you don't have to wait for somebody else to nominate your own children. You can nominate your kids because if you know your kids are doing something special, something different, then you want to reach out to me and I would love to have them on our show. That's why it's called Born to Shine, because this is where we sparkle and shine and we spotlight those who are really doing something different. So no, don't call me if they've scored 100 percent in math. I don't want to know about that. <laughs> don't, don't tell me if they want a spelling bee. I want to hear about other things, about their music, about their art, about writing books, and about giving back to the community. So um, let me ask you, Atar, let's, learn, uh, let's uh, get to know a little bit about you. How old are you? So I'm eight years old. And what grade are you in right now? I'm in third grade, and I go to Kirtner School. You go to Kirtner School. Okay. So how has uh, this year been? Are you, have you back at school? Have you been doing online learning? I've been doing online learning because the schools are closed because of coronavirus. How has it been for you? Have you missed school or do you like the online learning? I like the online learning. You don't like going to school? So like do, you, do you want to go back? Yes. Good, good. Miss Naisa, where have you disappeared to? Stay there. I can see you. There you go. <laughs> and Naisa, what grade are you in? Kindergarten. You're in kindergarten and do you go to the same school as your brother? Yes. And have you enjoyed virtual learning or do you miss your friends? Miss my friends. Oh, okay, I want you to speak friends. up. I can't hear you. No. Miss my friends. You miss your friends? So are you waiting for mom and dad to let you go back to school once it opens? Yes. But yes. That, yes, but we're going there. What was that? She's saying we are actually going to Arizona, so she's actually saying that. You know. <laughs> oh, you guys are going to go to Arizona? Are you moving out of the Bay Area to Arizona? No, it's actually virtual learning, so we uh, we're actually going there like for a week. Oh, so okay. They have this. Yeah, well, I guess that's the that's the best part of virtual learning is you can be learning from anywhere you want. But I'm sure everybody is looking forward to eventually going back. I mean, I miss my friends and I miss hanging out with them. I so agree. let me ask you, Atharva. Um, your mom told me that during the Christmas holidays, you decided to do something uh, to give back. So tell me what, what was this idea that you had, Atharv? So this idea we had was to start a fundraiser called the Family Giving Tree. And with the help of our friends, family, and our teachers, we, earned, we reached our goal. That's $1,000 in just one month. Okay. So w when you started this idea, what made you think of this idea? We thought that we could make, we could, we thought that we could bring smiles back to the people that have lost their jobs during the COVID-19. Okay. And Naisa, what did you think about this idea? Were you excited to be able to give back to the community and do something? Yes. So what did you do, Naisa? What was your contribution to the project? What did you do? So, so I helped send the messages. You need to speak louder. can't hear you. I, I hope Harry send the messages. Oh, you send yeah. the messages. Okay, that's very good. So, Tarv, uh, when you decided to do this, did you go to mom or dad? 
with your idea. I'm always interested to know. <laughs> How did it? You, you went, you went to, to mom. mom. Okay. Okay. And uh, so, Nithi, uh, let me ask you. Most kids wouldn't even think about that. They'd be too busy getting their own Christmas presents and writing to Santa. So uh, tell me a little bit about this project and, and how you encourage your kids to continue it. Yeah, so it's, it was like, uh, I mean, uh, we always talk about it, our family, like, you know, uh, like, uh, it's like not easy getting things. You always have to earn them. So I, we have been practicing this, like, you know, day in and day out that, you know, if you need something, you need to earn them. So they, they are like, they are those kind of, uh, you know, brought in that kind of family atmosphere. They actually do things and they earn money and then they get things. But this time, you know, this year was a little different for all of us. We were watching in news that so many people were losing jobs. And one of uh, my friend's daughter, she was actually doing a great uh, uh, help to the people in the mountains who were actually, you know, lost their jobs or the, the kids who, who couldn't actually continue school. So I was just talking to them about this and it looks like they got so motivated. So I asked them like, you know, do you want to really do something for those kids? And like looking at their enthusiasm, which actually pushed me to look for some, some things like this. So this family giving tree has always been a, something which comes around Christmas to all the offices. So we are all aware of this, right? Okay. So, so I actually uh, and then figured out that we could do something virtually online this time. So they had this digital platform where they actually put a website up with the gifts and the names of the people are like maybe basically the children who actually opt for what they want. So, but then I told them like, you know, since you are doing this, so you need to make sure you need to actually, you know, the people who give you gift on Christmas, you need to tell them we don't want gift this Christmas. We need, we need actually, you know, some money for the kids to buy so that you can, we can help them. So they were like very fine with that idea. No, nevertheless, we actually, you know, gave them reward after they contributed what <laughs> their goal was. But yeah, they were very much impressed with this idea. And they actually, I mean, I would tell you how they were actually emailing people, calling people. That was like way beyond what we thought of they could do. That's wonderful. So Atharv, let me ask you a question. So you decided to collect money instead of people giving you presents, right? So I'm curious to know, what did your email say when the email you wrote to somebody? If I was one of the people you were writing to, what would you have said to me? So I would have um, explained what our fundraiser is about and mm -hmm. what it is for. And then I would ask them to please help us and donate some money onto it. And was there any set amount that people had to give? Like, was there amount like minimum $25 or could they give whatever they wanted? They could give whatever they wanted and like they could buy a present online for the... Oh, okay. So you could either buy a present online or you could give money. Yeah. And what did you guys do with the money that you collected? So with the money we collected, the gifts that they buy online went to different kids. Um, that So like some kids put a hold on some gifts that really wanted it. And whoever, the, the people who were donating money clicked on the gifts and gave that money. So um, kids that, got, want, that wanted that gift got that gift for oh. Christmas. Wonderful. Who, um, who designed the website? Was it done by you or was it by the organization itself? By the organization. That's very good. So Naisa, how did you feel after helping all these kids get Christmas presents? There were 40 families which these kids helped. Oh, 40 families. Wonderful. So Naisa, how did you feel? Happy. You felt happy? So did you get to see the faces of any of the children? Were you able to see any of the kids whose faces and gifts you gave? No. Nope. Okay, so it's probably all uh, just confidential. All right. Yeah. Well, let me ask you, you gave up all your Christmas presents. So did you have a good Christmas? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. So mom said she got you a, a, an award or a, a gift. So Nisa, what did you get from your mom? You remember? Do you remember, Atar? What did you get back from your mom? Oh, yeah. So we got some Legos and um, a, some, a drawing pad. Okay, drawing pads. Very good. Very, very good job. So let me ask you, this is, for those who tuned in, we're talking to Naisa and Atharv and Born to Shine. They did over Christmas, they decided to get involved in a fundraiser where they could raise some money. And the organization is called Family Giving Tree, which is a nonprofit organization with grants, wishes to needy children. And they've been doing this course for almost over 30 years. And this time, Atarv and his sister, 
nice. So she's a kindergartner and Tharav is in third grade. They decided to contribute and they raised over $1,000 for this fundraiser with, of course, mom and dad's supervision. So let me ask you, Tharav, do you think this is something you'd like to do again? Yes, I think we would like to do it again next year for, for some other families. And what, how would you, I mean, if other kids were sitting here listening to this conversation saying, why would I do this? Why would I care if other kids got gifts or not? I need to just worry about myself. What would your message be to a child that says, why should I worry about other children? My message would be like, we should help other children, like other people earn their jobs back because like they've lost their jobs and they won't, what if they don't earn a gift for Christmas? So yeah, I, that's what I would say. And Naisa, do you think you want to help your brother again doing this? Yeah. You do? Let me ask you, Naisa, what do you want to be when you grow up? Have you decided? Mm. Do you know? Yeah. What is it? What do you want to be? A face painter. A face, face painter? painter? <laughs> I like that one, actually. <laughs> I like That's a very unique, creative idea. You yeah. make a lot of people happy by doing some face painting. Um, don't disappear on me. Come back over there. <laughs> okay. So uh, I have a question. So after you did this whole drive and, you know, did all the fundraising, did you tell your friends about it and this is what you did and this is how it worked and uh, we, what you, what happened? We actually told our friends to actually help us donate. And then? And um, some of our friends donated and some didn't and our, and our teachers and everyone else helped. But that's really nice. So did anybody come back and tell you, or did you go ask them that, you know what, let's, next time we should all do this together. Let's get together, maybe, you know, raise more money for these families. This is what we should do. Yes. You know, create more awareness about it. Yes. Yeah. Naisa, you did too? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Thank Atar, you. what would your goal be for this Christmas in 2021? You raised a thousand for 2020. So what's your goal going to be for 2021? How much money do you want to raise? I think about 1,100 1, maybe. 1,100. Okay, that's a lot <laughs> that's of money. Okay. <laughs> maybe 1,100. Yeah, that's a goal. A it's, more than the, increase. it's more than last year, Ms. Rain. Come on. Oh, that's what I said. Yeah. And I thought, what do you want to be? Maybe you like, you know, we already lost so much Christmas gifts or no more. <laughs> I know, seriously. Well, it's very nice because I know many kids that will be like, I don't want to give up my Christmas. Um, Atar, what do you want to be when you grow up? An engineer. You an engineer. engineer. Let me guess. Somebody in the house must be an engineer. <laughs> Both of my mom and dad. There we go. <laughs> Naisa, Naisa, you go girl. You go be a face painter. I want to see you become a face painter. <laughs> she, she has this like, you know, from the time she was like, I would say three or three and a half years old. She just she says, I want to be a face painter. <laughs> That's great because uh, my, gar my grandson wants to drive a garbage truck and he runs <laughs> out of the door every day. So it's, it's really interesting. Yeah, it's very, very good. So maybe my, my, uh, my question to you as a mom, you know, coming in and raising kids, you know, we're in the Bay Area. We're in a very competitive school district. Um, how have you managed to balance work as an engineer at home and virtual learning? I'm sure a lot of moms want to know that. <laughs> Yeah, it's like, uh, I mean, me and my husband, we, we both have very, uh, I would say, demanding jobs where it's like we are just coming in and out of the meetings. But I would say, like, uh, I would be very thankful to these kids too, like Atharv, like he is very helpful when we are in a meeting, he would actually help his sister, you know, uh, where she is like kind of stuck. But otherwise, we have uh, on our side, we have actually divided time, like uh, mornings are basically, uh, my, I'm busy with my meetings, he takes care of the kids and uh, the other way around in the uh, like afternoon. So you kind of both chipped in. And how, yeah. how do you think virtual learning has been for the children this year? Do you think the schools managed to pull it off? Or do you think uh, there's going to be a void in, in a lot of children's uh, education? There's going to be a lot of catching up. What do you think? Yeah, I think, I mean, before uh, summer vacation, they were actually trying to uh, figure out how things were. But when they came back after vacation last year, they were like fully prepared. They had the, they had teachers who were like, you know, very aware of the like online learning. These kids were fine, but for like, for uh, like 
kids like Naisa, like she's in kindergarten, she never actually saw her school. So she... <laughs> oh, so she was actually going to join kindergarten, so she's not even seen her school. Yeah, I mean, she, she's been there, like picking yeah, up brothers. Uh, but it's never been in her classroom. Never been in never her classroom. classroom, yes, yes. Which, for her, it's like it's still a fantasy world. How? <laughs> correct, correct. I can just imagine. I still remember my first day. I used to always look forward to my first day every year in school because you get a, a new desk and you want to know who's sitting next to you and your new backpacks. Well, hopefully we're all returning back to normal over here. So Atharv, um, in your opinion, do you think that you've learned more online or do you think you would have learned more being in a classroom? Um, I don't, I think like I could have learned more at any time because I, we do the same work. I think we're going to do the same work online or in the classroom. Just in so what do you think the benefits of being going to school then? I mean, do you think there's any benefit actually physically going to school? Yeah. What are the benefits? We can move around more and meet our friends yes. and we can be off the screen more. Yes, absolutely, off the screen more. And I'm sure you all are missing all the good sports and the activities you were doing outside. Yes, of course. Well, what I can tell you has been truly a pleasure to have both of you. And I really, actually all three of you, and I really hope that you're going to have this uh, fundraiser again, even if it's not for Family Giving Tree, maybe for another organization, because I think you both have set a really good example that, you know, learning is one thing. We all know how to sit at a desk and learn, but to be able to give back to the community at such a young age is absolutely wonderful. So Naisa, uh, when you become a face painter, can I come to you and get my face painted? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's called a makeup artist. You know, you can do makeup artistry too. <laughs> right, Miss Ina? Miss Ina Paint our faces, yes. Look at us. We need face painting right here. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Nivi, uh, kudos to you and your husband for, you know, encouraging this and, you know, finding time in between to encourage your kids to do this. Uh, for me, this is uh, even more important than education, to be able to teach children the importance of compassion and uh, tolerance and acceptance and how to give back. So thank you very much for coming on our show. Thank you, Naisa. Thank you, Atharv. And we wish you the very best. And we hope to see you back here again. Thank you. Thank you so much. And thank you for thank organizing. You. No problem. Thank you so much. And for those who've tuned in, this is Born to Shine being brought to you by Genius Kids. I'm Miss Reno. We'll be back next week with another sparkling youth who is going to share what they like to do. Over to you, Miss Ira. Well, thank you. Thank you, Miss Reno. Thank you for bringing such uh, bright kids on this show. Listeners, remember that, you know, if you know any kid who is born to shine, just send an email to Miss Renu on R-E-N-N-U, Renu, D at gmail.com. And we'd love to have them here on air with us. Remember, like Miss Renu said, no academicians. We want somebody who's, you know, who's, who's doing something for the community, who's doing something in the field of art or anything at all uh, like that. So do send us an email and we'd love to host them over here. Thank you, Ms. Reno. Thank you kids for being here. And thank you viewers and listeners for staying tuned with us. Do thank remain you so staying tuned to Radios in the Gate. Thank you.